All right, great. Well, my name is Danielle Sykes, and I am one of the uh, girl. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was experiencing some technical difficulties. Can everyone hear me again? All right, great. So I apologize about that. Um, again, my name is Danielle Sykes and I am with uh, Girl Scouts of Eastern South Carolina. We are privileged today to um, have you join us and we are collaborating with our sister council mountains to midlands for girl scouts connected um so i'm just going to get my powerpoint up and running so everyone said that they can hear me right all right great so Today we are going to be working on our uh, trail adventure badge. Um, this is for the daisy level. So the steps that we'll be going over are step one, we're gonna choose your adventure, outdoor adventure. Step two is we are going to prepare your adventure. And step three is go on your adventure. So today we are going to do several steps, but we, there is uh, step three is you will be doing on your own. Um, the supplies that you will need for today are paper, pencil, crayons, colored pencils or markers, and masking tape, painter's tape, or even duct tape. All right, everyone got those materials? Thumbs up. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and start our meeting off by doing the Girl Scout Law and Promise. So let me see your three fingers up. Your three fingers. <laughs> Great job, ladies. All right. So on my honor, I will try to serve God and my country to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. The Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Awesome job, ladies. So today, we are gonna be working on our Trail Adventure Badge. And the purpose of this badge, once you complete it, is you will know how to go on an adventurous jog or play outdoor hiking games. So with this, you can do a various of different um, activities and kind of change up some things. Um, so today, the first step we're gonna do is choose your adventure. So just imagine you're jogging around your block in your neighborhood or in a park. So what we're going to do today is we are going to draw a picture of where you want to go. All right. So to take out your, uh, your piece of paper and your pencil or colored pencils, I have this big whiteboard right behind me. So I'm going to do a picture um, over in the back of me. So draw a, either a place that you want to go, uh, whether it be a park, or your neighborhood. All right, so I 
drew an outline, a big square to kind of represent the area that I want to do. I just did a, a drew a big square. All right. I'm going to draw a park. So with my park, I'm going to, I'm really, really good at stick figures, so I'm not the greatest at actually draw, sketching out things. Maybe you guys might be a little bit better at drawing than I am, but before I put myself in there, what I wanna do is, I want to think about, do when you go on adventures, so I want you to pretend that you can go to this place where you can go jogging. Um, does everyone know what jogging is? Yeah? So is it something that we jump up and down? Is that jogging? Is that what jogging is? No. What is jogging? Type it into the, into the, uh, the chat box. What is jogging? Awesome. Yes, absolutely. It is a slow run. Very good. Good job, ladies. Go ahead and give yourselves a, a jazz hands. Woo good job. All right. So jogging is a slow run. Um, it does still get your heart rate up. So that is one thing that um, you want to always uh, take into consideration is that, um, you know, you don't overdo yourself. Sometimes when you are running really fast, um, you can slow down and go to a, a, a slower pace, and that's where the jogging does come in. It does keep your heart rate elevated um, when you're doing it over a long period of time, and you can do it at ease. So jogging, it allows you to kind of do, to run at ease. So you can mix it up by also walking when you're jogging. So what I want you guys to do is the next time that you guys when we finish doing our picture here, um, think about going into your neighborhood and if you're gonna do a, a, a jog, what might you see all around? What colors you might see? What sounds you might hear? What colors, you, uh, what bugs you might come across? Um, look at the sky, look at the trees, look all around you and kind of observe your atmosphere. And then the other thing is kind of a outdoor hiking game. So this is kind of where you would find a trail and you can create different games on your trail while you're playing. You can hop like a bunny um, and other things. So let's go ahead, everyone, everyone who's drawn their outline of their, for their picture, all right? So what do you wanna put in there? What, what do you see? Just imagine you're walking down, uh, pick a place whether it is a park, whether it is your neighborhood, um, whether it is your school, um, your block. So think about if you were to walk down, walk down that area, what do you see? So in my world, in my park, I see some trees. So I'm going to put some trees up in my park. Anyone else have trees in their area? Yeah? All right. I'm so looking forward to see what else that you guys have in your area. Hmm. What do you think I'll see if I looked up? Type in the, in the chat box. What do you think of what I might see if I looked up? The blue sky? Clouds? Absolutely. So I'm going to draw some clouds. What else could I add hmm, in my park? 
that I might see? Who can help me draw my picture, figure out what else I can see in my, in my park? Type it in the, type it in the uh, chat box. A slide, okay. All right, let me go ahead and put a slide in there. I think a lot of people like some slides. And I saw some swings. All right, let me see if I could know how to draw a slide. All right, so I got a swing and some slides. Ooh. I see someone put a bird. What kind of a bird is it might be there be? And I saw some grass. What other kind of birds are there? What kind of birds are there? Robins, awesome bluebirds, yeah. Like one more bird right here. Seven birds, oh, hummingbird, awesome. A bench, yeah, there could be a bench there too. Ducks, yeah. Well, what would ducks need to be, if they were at a, um, a park, what else do you think that there should be there if there is a, if there's ducks? A pond. I'm gonna go ahead and put a pond in my park. So I could put some ducks or a lake. Yeah, a lake works too. Sand, yeah, absolutely. All right, so I have the foundation of, this is, if I were to take a stroll, this is what my, this is what my park would look like. All right, so now what I want you to do is um, add a trail in there. Let's go on a trail. Let's look for, let's go on a trail. Don't forget to add you into that, into that equation. All right, so I'm going to go on a trail. Me and my little stick figure. Else is with you on your trail. Who else is with you on your trail? Are you on your trail by yourself? Your mom, your dog, friends? Absolutely, draw who else is with you. Your dad, I think I'm gonna take my dog with me.
kind of looks a little bit like a turtle. Some rabbits, your siblings, sisters, absolutely. And so what do you think that we might find on, on your trail? What do you think we might find on your trail? Leaves, okay. Find some leaves, yeah. A squirrel, maybe. Animals. A pit of bees, okay, bushes. Sticks. All right, great. Are you guys still coloring your pictures? How, is there anyone done? I want to see your pictures. If you are done with some of your pictures, go ahead and hold them up. Wow, look at that. Those are awesome. Love those pictures. Love these creative juices that are flowing here. Put all that detail in your pictures. Awesome, I love this. Great job, ladies. So whenever we go on an, on an adventure, and especially if we are venturing outside of our neighborhood, we might need to we might need to do a few things, um, especially if we're going on a trail. Good job. Those are oh, I love those pictures. You might need to do some things that require you to bring some things. So when we talk about going on an adventure. What might we need to bring? So what I want you to do is I want you to type in, in the chat box, what you might find, whoops, sorry. <laughs> what you might need to bring to hydrate. What do you need to bring to hydrate? Water, a water bottle, awesome. In the summertime, Especially, there are a lot of bugs out. So what might you need to bring with you for, uh, to keep the bugs away? Bug spray? Good job. All right. If it's sunny out, what might you need? A hat? Good job. Sunscreen, sunglasses. Good job. And if you were going to be out for a while, what might you pack? You're gonna be out for a little bit of water. Yes, water. Snacks. Oops. I did this a little premature, but if it's raining or if it gets a little cloudy, what might you want to have in it have with you as well? An umbrella, okay. A poncho. Good job. Jacket, absolutely. So would you carry all this in your hands while you're going on a on a walk or a trail ride? What do you need to put it? Where do you need to put it in? Some sort of bag, absolutely. 
great job. You might need a backpack or you might need a bag in order to carry all of that stuff. So whenever you're going on an adventure, just think about these things that you might need to take with you um, if, you are going, if you're going to be out so that this way you can keep yourself safe. I didn't put this on here, but let's say you were going on a night hike. What do you think that you might need? A flashlight, light, absolutely. Good job, ladies. And what do you think might, you might, um, if it get, starts getting dark, what can help you, besides you seeing with a flashlight, what can help others see you? What do you think that you could um, have on you that could help others? Waving your hands, okay. Bright clothing, okay, but uh, reflective, very good. We're at night, so what do you think that we can wear? So we can wear something that is reflective. Love that picture. You can also, um, you can wear, get uh, the glow sticks and you can attach that to you as well. So those are all great, great ideas. All right, I want you guys all to uh, those pictures. When, this afternoon, when you get the follow-up email, um, go ahead and I want you to send me those pictures so we can post them. So Jazzy asked, what about shoes? So if you're going on a hike, what kind of shoes do you want? Do you want to wear flip-flops? Should you wear flip-flops on a hike? What could you wear on a hike? Hiking boots, absolutely. Tennis shoes? Absolutely. Good job. All right. So now what we're going to do is, if you can, we are going to go outside. If you have a driveway or a walk area, um, and you can do this. If not, it's OK, too. Um, go ahead and grab that masking tape or duct tape um, or um, something that you'll be able to see. And let's venture outside and go outside. A little bright out, but Let's see, I set up a camera, but for some reason, I don't think it's, it's going right. Let me see. Oh. We're going to try this possibly this way. All right. So what I want you to do is you're going to take your, um, you're gonna take your masking tape or duct tape or anything like that, and you're gonna make some lines. So I started out right here and I made one line. All right, so I took, I took some duct tape so that it would be a little bit more seeable. And I brought my measuring tape just in case, but you don't have to, it's okay. It's about, let's see, one, to maybe about three of your feet. So do one, uh, th six lines. All right, so I started three right here. One, two. All right, so we'll go ahead and start lining about six lines. One, two. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, and now each of these lines should be about no two to three feet apart. So about two to three feet apart, and 
So for this, so does everyone see my, everyone see my uh, lines? I have six lines over there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of play, how many of you have, have played the game Hopscotch before? Play the game Hopscotch? So this is kind of a uh, slightly e a little run of easier rendition of it so that this way we are not drawing out, but you can draw out the, those hopscotch things as well. So on here, what we're gonna do is, has everyone set up their six lines? You can get mom or dad to help you, or you can come back and do it after. Sorry about that. All right. That is fine. Yeah, it's a little nippy out here. So if it's cold there, that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of um, change it up a little bit and play. You can play this with your sisters, your friends, your parents. And we're just going to do jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump. We're going to, let's change it up a little bit. You can do this on hikes. You can do it backwards. Jump, 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 jump. Got my exercise for the day, but <laughs> change it up. You can have a little starting platform. So change it up. You can do it with one foot. You can do it with, um, skipping over one so going from this one oh let me see how far i can jump ah, ah. getting to the next one let's see can i go backwards go forward change it up and however you want to do it so have fun with that be there with your i love seeing you guys interact and doing this, this is awesome you do this with your sisters your brothers your parents have your family come out and do it with you being able to take this and, oh, excuse me, out of breath. But you can do this even on trail walks. You can make up these games as you go. You can put rocks and do it from, you know, you're jumping from one place to the next. All right, great job, ladies. So. You can come back to that later and we can, you can play with that. It's en you have endless opportunities of what you might be able to do with. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Just almost tripped over my dog, but sorry about that. <laughs> so with that, you can come back to that later and be able to have fun. Um, Make creative things, uh, try doing it backwards, skipping on one foot, line to line. Use it for stretching. You can do it to where um, you can go on the first line, bend down, stretch. Now walk your hands out to the next line and see how far you can go without moving your feet. Lie down and stretch and see how far you could stretch between the lines. And again, think of what else that you can do in order to um, spruce up the activity. All right, so you guys did an awesome job today. So the next steps that you'll need to do in order to complete this badge is go on an adventure yourself. So it's time for the best part, your outdoor adventure. Make it even more special by adding one of these choices. So you, if you want to go jogging, add a new movement every 30 steps or 30 seconds. You might skip, hop, or bounce. For hiking, for hiking, learn about north, south, east, and west. Maybe do 20 steps north, 15 steps east, three steps south, 25 west, change it up. And then why don't you do this with your family? Having a family adventure.
Teach a friend or family member how fun jogging or taking an outdoor hike can be. This can be something, especially with um, us being inside and all this e-learning, sometimes we need a little bit of fresh air. Go into your backyard, and make a, a little creative outdoor activity. You guys did an awesome job today. So I wanna thank you for joining us this morning. We've went over steps um, one through three. We've uh, done the outdoor adventure. So we've done step one. We've done how to prepare in step two, how to prepare your adventure. And then step three, you will do it on your own. So you're gonna go on an adventure. Once you have completed all three of those steps, you have earned your badge of trail adventures. Thank you again for joining us and we hope that you had fun learning how to create and make games um, for an outdoor adventure. Don't forget to tune in next Monday, May 4th at 10 a.m. to work on the DAISY Design a Robot Badge. We will also have a Facebook Live today at 3 p.m. so tune in for Giant Bubble Fun. It is for all ages and you are more than welcome to join in every day at 3 p.m. our Facebook Live so that this way um, we do multi-level activities that is for everyone. Anyone have any questions? All right, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, on behalf of Girl Scouts of Eastern South Carolina and Mountains to Midlands, we appreciate you joining us today and we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, ladies. You're quite welcome.